Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, Teaching Budget. I am Mercedes. I am the single mom of one beautiful little girl, and I am also a teacher who is grinding and saving her way to some financial freedom. So if you're ready to come along on my journey, and as well as keep going on yours, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, and uh, leave me a comment down below, and of course, hit that subscribe button so that you do not miss a single video that I post. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get right into this video. All right, so guys, it is time. I am so excited to and if you really know my channel, you know this is not the 100 envelope challenge. I tried it, got scratched out, and was like, nope, I'm done. So I've been using this binder for a once in five challenge. And it is finally time to unstuff it and figure out how much money I was able to save in the last, has been two or three months, about right around that time, amount of time. Like, I don't foresee it being a huge amount literally i don't even know if it'll be over a hundred dollars i'm okay with whatever it is because i work to save it and i'm just excited about the fact that i have done a savings challenge successfully you know i felt so like just so defeated when i couldn't actually do the 100 envelope challenge which for that for me to choose that as my first challenge what was i thinking i don't like i don't even know but I 100% so, felt so defeated that I couldn't do the 100 envelope challenge. And so, I, like, when I decided to not do that, and I was like, let's just do a once a five challenge. It made me feel so good that I can at least still do something and save something. Um, in the new year, I will be bringing back the 100 envelope savings challenge. It will be a little different, and I'll explain that in my savings challenge video that's coming up in the first week of January. Yeah, I'm so excited because I have a lot of savings challenges that I'm going to be introducing you guys to. I'm not going to be doing too many, don't worry, but I'm so excited. But it's time to unstuff my very first um, one to five savings challenge. So my guess would be I might hit right around 100 if that, if not, that's okay. If I go over that, that'd be amazing. But we're going to unstuff and count how much we I was able to save. And we will also be reallocating this money into some envelopes where it needs to go. All right. So let's go, guys. Let's go. All right. And I'm probably going to just fast forward through most of this. Because, you know, it can be a little tedious sometimes. Yeah. Hopefully you guys can actually see that. Yeah. Oh, and I'm sure you know this. Like, the setup is a little different. Um, obviously, it's after Christmas now, which means I got a lot of Christmas presents from my best friends and from myself of course because i like to treat myself sometimes and and getting these presents i really just asked for some things that i wanted just for my channel just to like add a little bit of aesthetic to my channel and just you know just make it more fun for me like a little design i love i saw this mat and i loved it so i was like oh i want this one then i like I really like highlighters and pens and things like that. As a teacher, you can't not like them. So I asked for like a bunch of different like pens and highlighters, got some sharpies, some sticky notes, like some cute little paper clips and binder clips. Like my teacher heart is like very ugh about all of this. And I got this cute little stand that spins and like rotates. I thought it was super cute. And I did buy a new money tray, but I unpacked it yesterday and it just was not what I wanted. So I literally um, returned it to Amazon today and I literally like 
10 minutes ago just purchased a new one so that will be here on thursday which will be in time for my um last check-in of december and my first um stuffing and savings challenges of january 2024 guys i cannot believe it's already about to be 2024 like this year has been so crazy it's been a lot of ups and downs um i've talked about it in some of these videos especially this one that i literally i just posted a video um tonight literally right before i came in here and started filming and in that video i talk about the ups and downs that i'm going through with teaching right now and how i really have been struggling this year and just how you know it's just been a very challenging year for me and so i want i just shared a little bit of that with you guys and i will say i do feel better after taking this break like even just a short break like it's amazing how much like you can, you're able to digress when you're able to like have some get some rest and just you know spend time with your loved ones and not have to be worried about so many other things dang how many times did i put a five in with ones i thought i was doing a good job in separating them out but i guess not but it's a fun surprise to see but yeah no it's like it's been so amazing to just be having this time with my little girl and you know i always feel so guilty that i work um, but i also recognize that i have to work to provide for her but she's so young and i just wonder if i'm not like if she's gonna feel like neglected or something because i'm not constantly there i'm having to drop her off for like eight hours of the day and it's just you know it's a worry that i feel like every mom and every dad really go through when you talk about you know the fact that you don't get to spend that time with your kids like you want to and like i don't want that to be the memory she has so i have not worry so just having this break time right now has been amazing to just spend time with her we've been playing just watching like she she loves to like just watch um miss rachel she loves miss rachel and so we'll watch like miss rachel video together and sing along with the songs and like count and do all those things and you know it's it's been amazing time just spent time with her and i don't know i just i really and, and i really have enjoyed just having this break and just having time to just breathe you know because sometimes i feel like when doing the work week i don't have time to actually catch my breath and it gets frustrating so having this time where i've just been able to breathe and just have a fun time with my daughter has been rejuvenating and i feel ready to go back to work and i think i'm gonna be able to make it through this year but we will see you know it's always easy to feel rejuvenated when you're not in that situation that's been stressing you out or you know when you're having a break from it you can you can separate yourself from that but the real test will come on tuesday when we are back to work so i hope i'm in a better headspace i feel like i'm in a better headspace so i'm just gonna hold on to that i'm gonna hold on to my wise and i'm gonna you know be as prepared as i can be okay there's definitely a lot more than i thought there would be in here so guys i did pretty good look at that like i did pretty good especially for it i only have like been running i think i started this in october i want to say oh that's gonna drop me nuts that those were upside down okay so guys like 
Can you see that? Like, I did pretty good for once and five, so I only been have going for like two or three months. Like, this is good. All right. Now, close that. Put that to the side. All right. And where is my calculator? I feel like I was supposed to say, I will do that. All right, here we go. Got the calculator ready to go. So let's start with our fives. They're very like bendy, so here we go. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Shut up. Okay. So apparently I saved way more than I thought I did. Sorry. Me count. I know that probably threw you guys off. Let me count that again because now I'm convinced that I'm like, did I say 100? Oh my god, guys. I know it's not going to be like too much more than that, but oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it again. Okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 5, 10, 110, and 5. Oh my god. See, this is why I wanted to try. It should not take all of that. Okay. So let's do some ones. There's a lot of ones over here. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. That's a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh my god. God. I'm so excited. Hold on. Guys, check that out. Oh my god. I did not one hundred percent did not think it was gonna be over one hundred dollars. I did not. The fact that I saved one hundred and seventy two dollars. Lily, this was just ones and fives that was left over in my wallets at the end of the week. And technically, I'm not at the end of this week yet, so I just wanted to go ahead and get this done so that we can hit the stage, like hit the stage of running um, in January. And guys, one hundred seventy-two dollars. Oh my god. Okay. Um. So let's quickly. I'm gonna have you guys help. We're gonna. I want to plan out where I want this money to go. So $172. Let me get a pen really quickly. Okay. So I have $172. So I know for sure I want to put at least 30 into my um, emergency fund. I need to write this down because I will never remember and then it'll be crazy. So take away 30. Alright, into let's see. You know I always have to do my girl. So G savings. I want to put 20. Alright, into um her diapers. I'm going to throw, um, I won't need diapers so anytime soon, so I'm going to just do 10 in there. Let me look at her. I'm trying to figure out, remember what all she has in hers. Oh, gosh, yeah. I created these dashboards for it, and, like, so I have a set amount that I'm going to put in every week. I, I was not supposed to be showing you guys this yet, but it's fine. Um, let's see. Um, I'm going to throw some into her toiletries. I'm gonna throw five in there. 
and for clothing we'll get five so that's well I'm gonna have to do that all over again because now I'm confused I don't remember how much which ones I have done so let me do that clothing will be five for fun we'll get ten her education one we'll get five as well okay so let's add that up and see how much that is so we had 172 right there that's 30 20 10 5 10 20 25 all right so that leaves me with 87 dollars from there all right so my high priorities um down payment is getting 30. All right, and travel is getting 20. I need my toiletries. Hello, money. Soon we will get twenty. So I have seventeen left. Let's see. I do have a new binder. And part of me is like, do I want to save it for? No. Put that in there. Okay, seven and we'll get to get the last ten. All right, so here we go. We have a plan for where this money is going to go. So guys, let's go ahead and stuff it. I'm going to be like, wow, with all these want ones. I'm definitely going to be switching some <laughs> bills out at some point, but obviously not right now. So we're just going to go ahead and stuff this. All right, so we're going to start with our emergency fund. I'm not going to show you the un-emergency fund because there are some other envelopes and stuff in here, but that's for another time. So, we will be adding $30 to our emergency fund. And if I do believe, if I remember correctly, which I do believe I do, um, we are officially going to be hitting that 500 mark, guys. Well, today is not Friday. What's today? The 26th. Okay, so we're going to add 30. And that takes us officially to that $500 mark. Oh my God, that is amazing. So here we go. Let's go ahead and get 30. So 15, 20, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I feel like I always need one. So let's just go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's make sure this is 30. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to figure something out. There's just too much, too many ones in this thing. So let's just break it apart a little. These things are very small and they just don't hold as well as it should. Hence why I want a new tray. There we go, that's better. Okay, let's make sure we have 30. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Perfect. I'm going to add it to here. Yes, it should be 500. I should be at the halfway point, guys. Oh, my God. There you go. 150, 20, 40, 60, 80, 3, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 
$500. Oh my god, I'm at $500 for my emergency fund, guys. That is amazing. I'm so excited. Oh my god. That is... It feels like I'm actually doing this, guys. It feels like I'm actually doing this. And like, I'm actually making progress and like getting things done. So let's Oh my god, let's go ahead and fill it in three boxes. So that's one. That's two. And that's three. Oh my god. And because that's my baby working up. Hold on. She's shifting around. She's good. Alright. And we don't have my color pencils in here yet, which makes me a little sad because I really wish I had them. Let me use this um double sided highlighter to color in our flag, guys. We have officially made it to this halfway point. And I always say we because you guys are on this journey with me. Hopefully your journey is going as good as mine. This is something that we're all doing together. I really don't like color with highlighters. I really wish I had my color pencils, but they're not here yet. So, all right. So there we go. $500 in our emergency fund. All right. So, I'm going to actually use a highlighter to show that I have already done it. Okay. Now, let's break out Gigi's binder. Right. So, Gigi, in her savings, she is going to be getting $20. I did create little tra personal trackers um, for her envelopes now just because you know, I wanted something a little new and I just think these are so cute like right I, these are adorable so never mind let me yeah stop getting distracted so she's getting $20 so let's do what I can One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How did these tens get here? I don't know if that's good. Those fives to ten. I don't know how those fives got there. That was weird. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This should be $20. 5, 10, 1, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And let's add it in with the rest of her money. And let's see where my baby girl is at in her savings. So 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Um, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. $142 in her savings. Wow. Go to. All right, let's do that. So her starting balance was 122. So I keep forgetting what the date is. This is the 26, right? Yeah. 12, 26. Um, deposit and 20 plus 20, so that brings her to 142. All right, there we go. Oh, so hard to. 
gonna be a lot of money in here because I'm gonna have to do a little mini condensing soon. All right, so I have savings. I'm not gonna go in the order of this list because it's definitely out of order. So I'm just gonna go based on the envelopes. So her clothing is getting five dollars, which right now she has nothing in there. So yay for that. It's about to get 10. Okay. Oh, God. I'm just, guys, I'm really happy about, like, I, I genuinely cannot believe I, I was able to save so much so quickly and so that just makes me so excited for all the saving challenges and things that I have coming up to show you guys like I'm I'm so tempted to show you I told you guys I was creating a saving challenge based off my favorite game clue and I have several printed out and like everything's ready for it and I'm so tempted to show you guys right now but I want to wait until our saving challenge videos which I've already thought of what my schedule will be. I think um, every Sunday I will post like my weekly check-in videos like I always do. My breakdown, I think I'm going to split my weekly check-ins and like my breakdown videos into two because it's usually a lot. So I think I'm going to actually do Saturday will be weekly check-in because it will be literally the day after I stuff. Um, I like did everything I recorded everything and then I think Monday will be my um my paycheck breakdown video and then Wednesday I'm thinking will be my um saving challenge day so that's just like a schedule I have in my head but I may that may change I don't know I'll I'll see when I get there but I'm so excited to show you that saving challenge. I'm so proud of it. I think it looks amazing. And I can't wait to see what you guys think about it. All right, so back to this, $10. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. bank she already has 100 20 30 40 45 50 55 56 57 58 59 60 61 62 63 64 65 66 67 so in her fun folder she has 167 dollars is going to get five dollars and don't worry if you're new here i do have a separate education fund for her this is just a little bit extra that i'm putting to the side that i can add into her college fund so every time it when it hits a hundred dollars i'll take it out and it'll go into her college fund and then it'll just keep starting over again so that it is being invested and she's getting that money all right so we put five in there. So 12, 26. That's five. Hopefully you guys are able to see that. Okay. So let's say 20, 30, 40, 
45, 50, 55, 60. So she has 60 in her education. Getting ten. So she, I have her like um, baby monitor right next to me right now because she's just been like struggling with sleeping through the night for like the last few weeks. She just wakes up scream crying and. I just want to make sure she's okay constantly, you know, as any mom would. So, if you're hearing a little noise, that's probably what you're hearing. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alright. I can count that one more time, make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, okay. Let's see, all together she has 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 dollars in her diaper fund. Which, like I said, I just bought diapers for her at the beginning of this month. So I have plenty of time to get this back up to where it needs to be. In her folder, her diapers will receive the most amount of money anyways when I stuff. And that's just because it needs the most amount of money, you know. And it gets spent the quickest. So, alright. And her last one is her toiletries. So hair and skincare get skipped. And toiletries is going to get $5. For me, toiletries is just like wipes and like any medicines and stuff that she needs, like her vitamin D drops, those types of things. That's what toiletries is for me, for and like her case. Like, obviously, she doesn't really need all the other stuff that, a, like, an older kid or something would need for toiletries. But I want to make sure she has this fun. And it probably won't get spent very often because usually, like, with her wipes, I pull out of her diaper fun anyways, whatever. Um, because diapers and wipes go hand in hand with, in my head. So sometimes I just forget that I was going to be pulling in from toiletries. But, you know. I think I'm just going to actually just move the wipes into diapers because I won't remember that. And it'll just be like any medicine she needs and things like that um, will be what her toiletry is for. So, that's fine. She's really, she's moving around a lot right now. So, at work, she's going to wake up. So, i hurry. She didn't have to end the video in well in this recording and pop back in later. All right, well, that's all for her binder, which wow, some of these envelopes are getting a little thicky. So I definitely have to do like a mini cast condensing at some point. All right. Well, let's do these. Um, let's go to my high priority fund. Which I think I only have like two envelopes that I'm gonna be doing in here. So my first one will be travel. And travel is getting $20. 5, 10, 15, 20. Yes. Okay. So here we go. 
20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, so 135 in travel. Actually, travel might be the only one in here. Yeah, travel's the only one in my high priority one. Um, my low priority book has my toiletries in here. Okay, so that's it for my toiletries. And my toiletries is getting twenty dollars, and it currently has nothing, so that's why it's getting twenty dollars. Actually, I'm about to use this pretty much tomorrow. I need there to be a decent balance in there. I probably should have added a little bit more, but it's okay. I want to five ten. I don't want all these ones to go. That's my next right button there. The rhythm 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Five, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, so toiletries has twenty dollars. This is, I got this binder off of Amazon. I just like, you know, it's shit like that. And it's not what I thought it was going to look like. Um, but I think it's cute. I think it's a little cute. But this is officially my new home binder. So in my new home binder, I have a lot of different, like, categories. I looked up a lot of people's, like, new home binders and was seeing, like, what they were saving for. And so I have things like down payment, closing costs, moving expenses, home inspection, mortgage, property taxes, I have new furniture, a kitchen renovation, bathroom renovation, I have security system, and home insurance. So if you guys bought a home or recently bought a home or have your own home and you can think of anything else you think I should be trying to save for, please let me know so that I can make sure I have all of my bases covered. You know, just really want to make sure I'm holding on and getting things um, like taken care of and making sure I get the right things taken care of. So for down payment, it will be getting $30. And yes, guys, I made new envelopes to go with them. I think I will, I'm really liking the just like simple black look because on all of my other ones, it's like colorful and everything. But I think I really just like the simple simplicity of the black. I think it just looks really cute. I don't know. Especially with all the like the colorful like things, like hearts and things in this binder. I think it just makes it look a little better. I don't know. It might just be me though. Plus I just think these I just made these and I'm very proud of them. I think they're great. I think they look great and are great. So alright, so for our down payment. We have, let's see. Oh, I didn't fill this form in because I was, oh, that's why. Mm -hmm. All right, I still need to make the trackers for this envelope. Like I said, this is a new envelope. So I have not made the trackers for it. So probably doing our first stuffing, this tracker would be, I'm so sorry if you can hear that train. It is so loud. 
I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna let that go. And then I'll go back in. So this is what I'm just trying to get through. Alright, we're going to keep going. Hopefully you guys can not still hear the noise outside. Alright, so... Um, so yes, I will be making new trackers that are personalized for all of these. So down payment is still, because it used to be a high, high priority one, it got a tracker made um, when I made the ones from a high priority. So when I make this, like the color up here will change because each binder has its own individual color. And um, yeah, it'll be, and it'll be um, cohesive with the rest of this binder. All right. So, I already have 150 in down payment, so I'm going to be adding 30. So, here we go 5, 10, 15, 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Make sure this is 30. 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Not just 30. We're going to add it to our down payment fund. So let's see how much we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. So I'm up to 180 in my down payment folder. That's amazing. Okay. Okay. I'm definitely have to. Okay. The train finally made it through. All right. So what's next? The home inspection is getting seven dollars. All right. So five, six, seven. Like I said, I don't have a tracker yet, so I think I'm gonna just get one of my little stickies. And write it on here so I remember. So let's say 12, 26, deposit, oh, $7. So I can remember to add it to the tracker. So let me actually put it on top of the cash. There we go. That's convenient. I like having that. <laughs> Take to the side, I can just easily grab it. All right, and then lastly, the mortgage. So, I want to save to go ahead and get ahead 
on mortgage payments if possible. And that should be 10. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, no. So let's write that in there too. Before I forget it. So 12, 26, deposit. Um, Ten dollars. Right. All right, guys. So there we have it. Oh my god! So we are officially done with our ones and fives challenge for now. I honestly might make an envelope. Like a saving one five or more than five like challenge envelope and just do it that way anyways. I'm not sure. Maybe just the fives because I have something else that I'm gonna be doing with the ones. But maybe I like I might make a fives challenge. We'll see. I'm not not one hundred percent certain I will, but we'll see. Cause I'm I really enjoyed like the ones and fives challenge this time. And I was able to save hundred and seventy two dollars guys. That's crazy to me. So that's awesome. We got some ELO stubs. We got, I don't know, we got a lot of things coming. And, oh my God, guys. Uh, Gigi got her, um, got this um, for Christmas. I really wanted her to have like a new piggy bank because before that, I was just using this as her piggy bank. And I just wanted her to have like a cute little piggy bank. And look how much was like I had already saved just over and so i did want to i do have some more coins that i want to put in there where's my wallet i've got my wallet i do have some coins that i need to go ahead and add because it's like making my like wallet a little bulky and i don't actually use coins at like the at the store or anything it's just you know so i'm gonna go ahead and add these coins to her I love this bank. It's so cute and stuff. And she, she clearly, she clearly knows who it's for with the G. Part of me is like, I need to get myself an M so I can have my own little piggy bank, you know? But <laughs> I don't know. No, I'm like, change goes to my daughter. And it looks like it's already gonna be far. I love it that to to empty it out, I'm gonna have to like unscrew it, which I actually have a perfect little screwdriver to do that with and then I'll roll it take it to the bank and it'll go into her savings fund when it gets full and then we'll start all over again but yeah I just thought that was a really cute piggy bank for her so that's what that is all right well guys that is all for this video thank you for joining me don't forget to leave me a comment down below like just tell me where you are in your journey and What's some things that you're looking forward to doing in the new year? Also, um, well, I don't know. I lost my train of thought. And also, don't forget to like this video, guys. Share it if you want. You know, get it out there for the algorithm for more people to find these videos. And I just want to be a positive force for people. And I want to help other people who are on the same journey with me if we can all do it together guys we're gonna be so much better i promise so like comment subscribe if you have not already i promise like i'm a fun time sometimes you know i don't always go into the deep philosophical like conversations sometimes i just like to have a little bit of fun i feel like i haven't really been showing my personality as much um um and these videos over the last few months just because I'm like getting my bearings but I feel like as I'm getting more and more comfortable a little bit more of my personality is coming out and guys let me say I'm a wild time I promise you I'm a wild time so please make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can really get to know me and just hopefully laugh cry and just enjoy the time that we get to spend together all right so I will see you guys probably in a few days. Honestly, in a few, few days for 
our last um check-in of December. So, bye guys!